this episode with stories sent in by you, our Micro Terror listeners. Send in your own story at microterrors.com. Welcome to Micro Terrors. Scary stories for kids. Where it's always the spooky season. Full of chills. Thrills. And spine-tingling spooks. Micro Terrors are family-friendly frights for those ages 8 and up. And while our stories are for younger ears, we are still talking about things that go bump in the night, and some children may not be able to handle what others can. Parental consent is recommended. Now, for tonight's Micro Terror. Story number one, UFO Fest by Autumn Road, age eight. Ned and Zed loved festivals. They loved festivals of all kinds – Halloween, winter, fall, summer, you name it – but their favorite one of all was just around the corner – the UFO Fest. They couldn't wait to see everyone dressed up as their favorite space creatures. Another thing they were looking forward to was the green cotton candy and the lime-flavored space ooze drink. The day of the UFO Fest had finally arrived. It's here! yelled Zed. I can't wait! screamed Ned. The brothers were all decked out as their favorite space creatures. Ned was dressed up as his favorite space alien, Blorf, while Zed was decked out as his favorite creature, the alien space commander. As the boys got ready to leave, they said goodbye to their pet turtle, Sarah. When they got to the parking lot, there was a UFO Fest sign on the left and a replica of an alien spaceship on the right. Ned and Zed were super excited to get a picture in front of the spaceship. They heard that you could even go inside and sit in the commander's chair and work all the controls. When Ned and Zed walked into the festival, they were excited to see all sorts of food stands, people in costumes, and a huge row of games where you could win tickets for prizes. Ned and Zed played a lot of games. They played Alien Bingo, Pin the Staff on the Aliens, Ring Toss, Alien Cornhole, and lots more. When Ned and Zed counted their tickets between the two of them, they had won a thousand. At the prize booth, they traded their tickets for two giant alien plushies, two green jump ropes, two large alien balloons, and a pack of lime Tootsie Rolls. The boys only had three tickets left, and the only thing they could get was a tiny, glowing alien balloon. Zed said, Hey, we can tie this around Sarah tonight while she's walking around the front yard. <laughs> That's a good idea, said Ned. Once the boys arrived home, they got Sarah out of her tank and tied the balloon around her. Then they took her outside to the front yard to walk around. She was having a lot of fun. Ned even put a little leaf on her head. After about ten minutes, the balloon started to flash. The boys looked at each other in confusion. All of a sudden, the boys heard a whooshing sound coming from the sky. When Ned and Zed looked up, they saw an alien spaceship. The door on the spaceship opened and a light shined down right on top of Sarah. Zed and Ned looked on in horror as Sarah began to lift up off the ground towards the light and into the spaceship. Sarah's little legs were frantically kicking the air. At the same time, Ned and Zed screamed, What's happening? The brothers lunged towards Sarah, but it was too late. Sarah was in the spaceship and the door had closed. The brothers' eyes filled with tears as the spaceship flew away. Story number two, Terror on the Slide by Mad Alexander, age seven. Once upon a time, there was a seven-year-old named Zack. Zack was at a playground with his friends. He watched one of his friends, Abby, go down an enclosed tunnel-like slide. He was at the bottom, waiting for her to come out to the other end, but she never came out. 
he climbed up the ladder to check at the top and see if she was just pranking him. When he got to the top, he realized she was not there either. He called his other friend Mark up to the top to help look, but Mark decided to slide down the slide too. Zack said no! He rushed down the ladder to see if Mark came out the bottom. Zack was surprised to see his friend was there. What? Zack said. Y you didn't disappear? I guess not, Mark said. Then where is Abby? Zack asked. I didn't see her anywhere, Mark said. Right then, another little girl climbed the ladder to slide down. I'm sure she'll be okay since Mark came out of the slide, Zack said to himself. The little girl then slid down. Mark was also watching to see if the little girl came out. But she never did. Zack climbed up the ladder to see if he could figure everything out. He went down the slide. But when he came out, he found himself in another world. He saw a man with a squared-off head who just stood there and groaned. A portal appeared out of thin air behind the man. "'I don't need you,' he said in a scary voice. The portal then sucked Zack into it, and he reappeared at the bottom of the slide in his own world. He didn't see Mark right away, but quickly realized he was at the top, ready to slide again. "'Wait!' Zack yelled, and then climbed the ladder. Together, they decided to go down again. Zack was hoping for a better answer about what was going on this time around. This time, they both ended up in the other world. The man with a squared-off head stood there, still groaning. Hmm, maybe I'll keep you after all, he said with an evil smile. This has been a special Listener Terrors episode with stories sent in by you, our Micro-Terror listeners. Thank you for listening to Micro-Terrors. Join us each Saturday for another scary story. For more fun, visit our website at microterrors.com, where we will also have spooky games you can print out and play, like wicked word searches, mysterious mazes, and more. Microterrors.com is also where you can find us on your favorite social media and even send in your own scary story for us to tell. Plus, you'll learn more about our author, Scott Donnelly, who has other horrors for both young and old. I hope you'll join me again soon for Micro Terrors, Scary Stories for Kids.